All right, so I made a couple of videos about Total Lavinia and then Ch Night Chaka, who has some very controversial and crazy takes on Twitter, came up with this and I thought it was an interesting video to make, which is basically, is the baby Jiro worse in terms of predicting the future than Total Lavinia? So he's saying Leo Hayes lost minutes, same with Lenny Martinez and all the rest of it. But I don't really think it's very relevant because if you're going to go well at the Giro, like you might not be going well at the Lavanier, but it doesn't really mean anything either way. Because like if you, the, if both are like similar levels, then it's sort of fine. And like, how do you tell if they're similar levels? Well, obviously we just look at who went pro. So we're going to start in 2017. I mean, we could go earlier, could go later. 2017 seems like a decent time to go. So Egan Bernal, yup. This is Lavanier, sorry. Bjorg Lambrecht, obviously RIP, but he was very good. Nicholas Egg, not doing so well now. Did go well to a trek. Hamilton, yes. Steph Kras, yes. Schlegel, no. Doing so. Um, he didn't go well to He rides with Kyle Rao, so it's all decent. Tobias Voss, yes. James Knox, yes. Stora, Henley, Strakoff was pro. Artem Nietzsche was pro as well. And then it's sort of like, you'll recognize a lot of these names. Uh, so yeah, Tour de Lavanier 2017. Basically, everyone will talk. Um, we could also have a look at Giro Della, uh, Giro Della Valle d'Aosta. Sivakov won, obviously good. Lambrecht, Storen, Egg, Carboni, who writes for Buddy and HSF. Corvilli is the same. Uh, Cherkasov, not sure. Um, Nox, Vlasov. So even this one, Giro Valle d'Aosta is a good, good predictor. And under 23, Giro, again, a lot of good people like who came top 10. Jasper Philipson is a rogue one finishing. But you could argue that there are less World Tour guys here um, in comparison. Maybe the level isn't the same. 2018 is like Vlasov, Almeida, Stanard. Like, I mean, all these people are World Tour. Like, you know, so I'm not really sure it's the best argument the man's made. I think you could say it's like more prestigious to win. Like, obviously, 2018, Poggy won overall. Aronsman, Maida, Vlasov, Champazan, Souza, Almeida, Dunbar. Like, you know, all these people are big. Like, you know, there's no denying it. Um, Almost all of these people are world tall, even down to like Bajoli and everything else. So yeah, 100% like it's a high level and stuff. But again, like I don't think it's that different. Like I'd say the only one that is probably a step down is Giro Valladosta. Like, you know, you're, now, you're seeing people here who like are not world tall, like him um, or Davide Botta. Like, you know, there's definitely different levels. Um, But I, I do think that, Actually, the difference between the two is just not really very big. Like here, okay, our dear not great, but Rubio, he's uh, well tall. Like this is more of a Colombian situation. And to be fair, not as many of them w have gone well tall. So maybe you could say on this one, there is the argument um, the, the the level is lower. Um, but if we go like 2020, again, Pidcock, Vandana, Bill, Colioni, Aliotti, all well tall, Conca. Um, so yeah, Henok Mumbaran now rides for Body on HSF, uh, Cam Johnson rides for uh, Kahara Rao, Tom Glide um, for uh, Yumbo, etc, etc. Um, so yeah, w the conclusion of this video is, what do we say, is, is Lavanier going to be, um, sorry, Lavanier didn't happen in 2020 actually, it only happened in 2019, and again, you can see similar people doing well, so uh, to be honest, you know, I don't think it's, I don't think it's actually that different. And if anything, some of the Lavinia gaps are crazy. Like, 2019 was like, like, have a look at that. Like, Voss won, but top 10 was like 13 minutes down. So, you'd say like, I mean, it's similar here, but like, you'd sort of more expect that because Pidcock's a, a phenomena, a lot more than Tobias Voss um, has shown so far. Um, so, yeah, I think in conclusion, probably not the biggest, uh, the best conclusion you can really come to like again look who won Giro, um, Giro d'Italia under 23 Juan Ayuso um, Tobias Johannesson super strong Henry, Henry Van Nanabel Gloag like they're all really strong so I just don't really think it's a good comparison like it's not like oh these people get top 10 in Giro and then like you never see them again it's like well similar people do I'd say the only argument and the reason I think you see some of these different things is you get people like Carlos Rodriguez who are World Tour riding on Lavanier, you don't get that in under 23 Giro because you're banned. Um, if you, if you, once you raise pro, you're like, nah, not allowed, which I think is a really good rule. But it means that's why I think like people can do well in an under 23 Giro and look bad in Lavanier. But that's just because they're racing people who are far better, but it doesn't mean they're not going to be good. And I think that's the key thing uh, to take away is that actually 
both of the races I think have a good merit uh, and both of them like you've got a good chance of seeing who's going to go well like this year obviously Kian Utherbuk's like is that fair like not really um I guess you could say like Lenny Martinez also not fair like he is doing um he didn't race world tour but he had raced like um tour of the Alps and he came 11th overall in that like so you could argue he's a bit unfair but like overall most of these people you know like I mean Max Poole signed world tour Mason Hollyman's already signed world tour Leo Hayter signed world tour Lenny Martinez signed world tour pretty sure he has as well Ruben Thompson has as well so like they've already gone all world tour as well and then like if you look, look here like Kinnut Brooks is Jan is Stan Mitten he's going for Jumbo for like a million years. Pig Anzoli, I think, might have signed somewhere. Lenny Martinez again. Like, Matthias Vacek, he's signed as well. Matt Dinham has also signed for FDJ, I think, as well. Um, so, yeah, like, pretty... Yeah, pretty decent comparisons all in all, and I don't think there's much in it. But anyway, let me know your thoughts below. Is the under-23 Jira actually worse than the than Lavanier? Because I think they're pretty similar levels.